I'm uh, Conrad Powers. We're here in Bolivar, Tennessee. We're right in the middle of planting season here. We grow cotton, corn, soybeans, some wheat, 6,500 acres between a mix of four different crops. We farm a variety of soils, bottom ground, hill ground, small patches, large fields, pivot irrigation, wide range and diverse soil mix. Granddad farmed, my dad farmed, and I just grew up always farming and what I love to do. Weather is always a difficult thing to deal with just because you have so many variables from the rain, the wind, never know what you're going to get. We first started using ESN around 10 or 12 years ago. We were looking for another nitrogen source that would stay with us a little longer. We have a bad problem around here, We're getting a lot of rain in the springs. It'll leach out, get gone from us. ESN is still basically laying on the ground after you get big rains. You can go out there and find the little prills still laying there where you spread them out. It steadily feeds the crop, so instead of running out of nitrogen, you're feeding the crop what it's wanting when it needs it. ESN helps us later in the season because everything will stay greener longer, so you get the bowls on the cotton are finishing, filling out good. The corn will finish filling out, gives us more girth on the ears, fills out heavier test weight on the grain. ESN helps us on the yield on the end because we're feeding the crop through the whole year. I definitely recommend using ESN. It's good value for the money. You can save an extra application trip if you want by putting out one time instead of splitting your applications. Mm -hmm.